Hello my schoolers, welcome to my school channel. I am Abiola and we are currently solving the 2018 jam pass question for biology. In this clip, we'll be solving questions 1 to 20. So right now, let's tackle question number 1. A group of closely related organisms capable of interbreeding to produce a fertile offspring are known as members of a species okay option d is very correct to be more sure about the correct option okay you can check for definitions of each of these that we have here so species is the correct option option d for f and c sake question two a beaker of pond water containing few specimens of uglina was placed in a dark room okay for two weeks at the end of this period, the specimens of Uglina were still alive because they were able to carry out holozoic nutrition, okay? Uglina is both a plant and an animal. It belongs to the genius of protists. Okay, so option A is very correct. Question number three. The cytoplasm of a cell is considered a very important component because it does what? Option B, because it suspends all cell organelles. Basically, the cytoplasm fills, it up, fills up the cell, okay? And it allows uh, or enables the organelles to remain in position. So, if we want to bring it together, we can say option B is very correct. Please remember that the link in the description below is made available just for you so that you can get any of the my school tools okay just click on the link it takes you to the my school website where you will get more information on how you can purchase the my school mobile app or the my school software so right now we are tackling question number four use the diagram shown to answer the question okay after an hour the level of water in the tissue funnel will do what is definitely going to rise based on osmosis okay so look at this. this is sugar solution and we have distilled water here and we have the permeable membrane tied to the mouth of the funnel so basically what will just happen for equilibrium to happen okay to occur rather so the water level will rise in the tissue funnel so option a is very correct remember that all you just have to do is to hit the like button Click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notification so you can get informed as soon as we upload the next video. Question 5. Okay, use the diagram shown to answer the question. The experiment above is used to demonstrate the process of osmosis. Okay, you can see a permeable membrane here. You can see water you can see sugar solution in the tissue funnel so definitely this is an osmotic process so option d is very correct osmosis question number six use the diagram shown to answer the question in plant cells the role of the membrane is played by the what okay that is by the cell wall the cellular cell wall in plants okay they are also permeable just like what the membrane here explains to us using the diagram we have so option b is very correct question seven red blood cells were found to have burst open after being placed in distilled water for an hour this phenomenon is known as hemolysis okay this water shows us that that's an hypotonic solution okay so the content comes out comparing it to the cytoplasm of the red blood cell so option c is the correct option remember that you can ask your questions right now all you just have to do is to click on the link in the description below this takes you to the my school website where our army of solution providers are waiting to give you the answers that you need okay so now let's start with question number eight the curvature movement of plants in response to the stimulus of water is called what this is referred to as hydrotropism okay geotropism is response to force of gravity phototropism that is light 
tropism that is touch stimulus okay so option a is the correct option to this question perhaps you have better steps or explanations to any of the questions we have tackled so far kindly use the comment section below indicate the question number and the explanations you would like to share question number nine the overall reaction in glycolysis can be summarized as what okay so the correct option is option b we have glucose here which is splitted into two moles of pyruvate okay then we have two moles of adenosine triphosphate so option b is very correct question 10 the longest bone in the body is the femur option b that is your thigh bone okay so femur is correct option b once again number 11 which of the following structures is not a skeletal material okay chitin is an exoskeleton insect okay we have cartilage we have bone those are examples of skeletal material so your muscle is not a skeletal material so option d is super correct right now we are tackling question 12 the reason why the flow of blood through the capillaries is very slow is because they have large numbers okay and they are one cell thick wall okay this enables them to provide a large surface area through which materials can be exchanged between the blood and the body cell just know that once there's an increase in the total cross-sectional area okay the blood velocity will surely decrease so that makes option d correct Number 13, which of the following groups of organisms has kidney as the excretory organ? Okay, so let's consider option A, fishes, they have kidney, amphibians, kidney, birds, kidney, man, kidney. If you examine every other options that we have here, okay, analytes, they use their nephridium or nephridia for plural, insects, they use their mapigian to boost. So all of these, they are presence in other options invalidates those options so option a is complete and solid this makes option a very correct remember that all you have to do is just to click on the link in the description below this takes you to the my school website where you can get the my school mobile app or purchase the my school software all of this is just to help you prepare better for your coming exam so right now we are tackling question 14 which of the following features is not a characteristic of arteries okay arteries possess valves at internals throughout their length this is incorrect because valves are absent except for semilunar valves close or near the heart okay we know that arteries they have thick muscular and elastic walls they carry blood away from the heart they transport oxygenated blood except the pulmonary artery so option a is very correct so all you just have to do is to hit the like button click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notifications so you can get informed as soon as the next videos are released question number 15 the graph above okay shows the results of a laboratory investigation which measured the body temperatures of a lizard and a bird okay under changing artificial condition use it to answer the question so which of the statements here is valid okay so let's look at statement a the bird's blood was always warmer than that of the lizard okay so what is the bed's temperature from here we can see that we have the body temperature of the bed okay it moves around there and that of the lizard we can see it so statement a is not valid let's look at statement b the body temperature of the bird varied less than that of the lizard doing changes in environmental temperature so let's look at the variation in the bird's te body temperature so this is the environmental temperature this is the body temperature this is for the bed okay so let's look at the variation or the deflection okay you can see it's almost like a straight line going up then looking at this this is for the lizard 
So we can see that the body temperature of the bird varied less compared to that of the lizard. So we can still take option B or statement B as being valid. Let's consider statement C. The body temperature of the bird remained constant despite changes in environmental temperature. What we can really say is when there is a change in environmental temperature, it didn't stay the way it was, okay? There was a little change, so we can't validate statement C. Now, let's look at statement D. The body temperature of the lizard was always close to that of the environmental temperature. So, let's look at this together. The body temperature of the lizard. So, when the body temperature of the lizard was around, look at this, when it was around 60, the environmental temperature too was around 60, okay? Let's see again. When, it's, when the environmental temperature was 80, you can see, the body temperature of the lizard too was around 80 or even 80 on spots. Let's go to 100, environmental temperature. When we move up, you can see it's not too far from the body temperature of the lizard, okay? So, let's look at environmental temperature of 120, okay? Then look at that of the lizard. So, we can see that the body temperature of lizard was always close, not the same thing at all times, but it was always close to that of the environmental temperature. So we can just validate option B and option D. This is still subject to one or two um, reasonable arguments. Okay, so just make sure you go to go for the most viable option or statement that you can validate. So we can comfortably validate statement B and statement D. So that is all for question 15. Question 16. The graph above shows the results of a laboratory investigation which measured the body temperatures of a lizard and a bird under changing artificial conditions. Use it to answer the question. What physiological term can be used to describe the regulation of the body temperature of the lizard? Okay, so we can see that the lizard is trying to adjust its body, its body temperature in comparison to the environmental temperature. And we know lizard is cold-blooded, that is uh, being poikilothermic, okay? So we have been asked to look for the term that qualifies regulation, not just the state, okay? So the regulation here is homostasis, okay, option A. An example of homostasis like um, regulation of um, water and mineral balance in the body, okay, regulation of temperature, regulation of chemical levels. So the correct option here is option A. Question 17. The reason why hospitals use saline solutions as drip instead of water is just to maintain the composition of the body fluids, basically osmoregulation, okay? Uh, you know, the saline solution contains sodium and that is required for proper functioning of body nerves and other systems. So, this is just to maintain the composition of body fluids, osmoregulation. Option C is very correct. By clicking on the link in the description below, it takes you to the My School website where you can ask your questions right now and our solution providers are going to help you out. So right now we are going to tackle question 18. The part of the ear which contains nerve cells sensitive to sound vibration is option A. The reason why we chose option A is because the tympanum or the tympanic membrane, okay, receives the waves from the outside and it vibrates. It produces this vibration, okay? Then it is this vibration that the nerve cell, okay, now translates into electrical impulses that will be carried to the brain by the sensory nerve. So option A is very correct. So do not forget that at any point that you have one or two explanations or better solutions to any of the questions we've tackled so far, kindly use the comment section below, okay? Indicate the question number and the solutions you would like to share. Question 19. 
Spectacles with um, convex lenses correct long sightedness by doing what? It converges the light rays before they enter the eyes and bring them to the correct extent so that they can be properly focused on the retina. So, option A is very correct. Question 20. The seed of a flowering plant can best be described as what? It can best be described as the developed oval, okay? The oval that has been fertilized, okay? So, when, once the oval is fertilized, it becomes ripens and it becomes a seed, while the ovary becomes the fruit, okay? So, option B is very correct. We've come to the end of this segment, but there are still more clips to be released. All you just have to do is to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notifications so you can get informed as soon as the next videos are released.